Well, I wanted to present a video uh, for the benefit of those who may uh, either be considering an Optoma projector uh, purchase or those that own uh, models specifically, in this case an HD143X, uh, that have gotten fan temperature alarms. This is when the power switch and the heat indicator uh, turn red and flash. And uh, we had ordered a group of seven of these projectors, and uh, two of them came in DOA with the same problem. And we're looking at one of them right now. Uh, rather than uh, go through the arduous cost of return for warranty, uh, this unit was D DOA but discovered after the warranty period was over. Um, I decided as an electrical engineer with 35 years of experience in surface mount design and repair that I would uh, risk voiding the warranty for, to find out what's wrong, and certainly I did come up with something. Uh, first thing was a couple of uh, workmanship issues, and uh, I was intending to do a very detailed uh, analysis and uh, microscope-based movie uh, for Optoma uh, factory repair, but they've chosen basically to show zero interest in the workmanship failures that I've reported. Um, and so I'm not going to do that. I'm doing this basically for consumers. Now the top is off the uh, projector. It comes off fairly easily. You do have to remove the warranty stickers. Um, so you can count on the fact that they will not honor the warranty after you uh, start this process. But uh, first of all, I wanted to point out a couple workmanship issues. Uh, first is on the uh, bulb retainer. Um, there are two formed rivets here which are done by pressing steel up against a, a die and um, then on an anvil and as you can see they're they're broken um, I looked at them under a microscope uh, they they've not been pried up they just simply were incorrectly formed now on the back of this um, uh, lamp assembly all that does is keep your fingers out so it's really no big issue here now, another thing that happened, because um, this unit did, in fact, have a blower that was not working, uh, that is found right here. Um, this cools the lamp. This lamp puts out around 250 watts of heat, so it gets hot very, very, very quickly if the blower is not working. And uh, the first thing, if you're getting a temperature uh, warning, don't try starting it up more than once again, because you're putting the bulb under a tremendous amount of thermal stress. Now this particular unit, um, I dumped some glass fragments out of it and found out that in fact when the bulb, which I will remove here, um, had been thermally stressed, you can see there's a chip out of it. It's not focusing real well. There we go. You can see the chip out of the corner and there's actually a crack through the lamp housing which you can catch just a little bit of uh, right through there. And um, that likely is because uh, we tried several times uh, to fire the projector and see if it repeated the error. And in fact, it did. So uh, there you can see the chip through the bulb housing cover. Um, don't try more than once because thermally this bulb is uh, put under a lot of stress uh, from the heating and the cooling during those cycles. So just don't. Uh, that bulb is about uh, $42 for an aftermarket bulb, higher for the original. Um, now, as to the, the main problem here, and again, I, I didn't put together present a microscope-based video, but the problem occurs right here. This is your blower connector. Uh, it's connector, a JST-style connection. Now, the what causes this problem is that Optoma chose unfortunately a connector whose contact size does not match the size of the wire from the blower vendor which in many cases I believe is is soon on if you look at the chassis fan which is to the right here you can see that the wire insulation size is smaller than it is from the blower and if you look up close and this is the best I'm going to be able to do on this device that I'm doing the quick video with. You'll see that the wires on the blower are bigger in diameter, at least the insulation is. And when I actually went in and took a look at that harness, and I'll undo it here, um, 
those wires, when you, when you put a wire that's too big for the contact that you use and too big for the connector, uh, you maybe can't appreciate it here. And like I said, I wish we uh, had, uh, had had time to do the microscope-based video. Um, but the insulation will not fit into the connector housing. And oftentimes when this also happens, when you go to crimp the contact, uh, the contact is distorted by the, um, the wire insulation, which is larger than the contact was designed for. And if uh, you can see by looking at it that it's mighty darn big to fit in the holes of the back of that connector. And indeed, what happens, uh, or what happened in this case of this projector, is those contacts were, were pulled out and the crimp inside did not grab the wire adequately. And so what this leads to is a problem where intermittently the, the blower won't work. And of course that compromises the bulb and it gives you the over temperature error. And it gives you a projector that then you need to send back to Optoma, either under warranty at your own expense, of course, or you get the, uh, the RMA form and they tell you that uh, for whatever reason, this is damage that you caused and now you're stuck for a couple hundred dollars of repair and the return shipping cost as well per their terms. Now, my desire would be that a company like Optoma, which has brand recognition, would actually design their product correctly, which in this case they didn't. They should have used a larger contact and a larger connector body or told their uh, fan uh, blower vendor to produce a smaller overall diameter on the wire so it would fit the connector that they chose but obviously that slipped through in the manufacturing process or the design process um, so also too i would caution those of you who buy refurbs of this projector because this problem is still there and if the problem of the blower failing was what caused the projector to go back to optoma in the first place if they do a little bit of jiggling on this uh, the intermittent contact could make this projector work very well through refurb and uh, then you get it and you have a, now a very short warranty on it um, instead of the uh, the traditional i believe it's one year warranty on uh, on uh, new retail projectors so this problem likely exists in many different units. It's one of these kind of things that can come and go. Uh, and if it does, uh, in fact, come and go, and it comes on you and then, then goes to back to the factory and the shipping um, makes that connector mate temporarily again, it will run for them and they'll say, okay, great, let's ship it. Now, some other poor soul gets the thing, and uh, after a couple of weeks, it quits. Thermally, of course, as the unit heats up and cools down, and this area gets very hot in here because of the bulb, um, that puts stress on that, that connector contact as well and can cause that to disengage and fail. Now, as far as the repair of it, a competent um, a repair person or engineer should be able to take care of this fairly well. They won't be able to change the, uh, the, the contact size, but these JST style connectors, um, if you have experience working with them, have little tabs that you can extract the contact, make sure you have a good crimp inside the contact. Usually you do this under a microscope. Um, reform the contact and slip it back in, possibly going as far as to pull the insulation back so the insulation doesn't keep the wire from fitting in the uh, hole where the contact was, which in this case, this projector still has that problem where the contact won't seat fully, uh, it won't click into place and engage at its full length because the wire is just plain old too big around to fit into the hole in the connector. So anyhow, that's all I've got to say. This uh, this one, I did rework the contacts. Um, I did push the insulation back slightly, and it worked. It, that solved the problem. Um, you you can hear whether your blower is running or not, so it's fairly easy to determine uh, if you have that problem. But uh, the projector does monitor the rotation of the blower through a tachometer lead. Um, and that's what causes the, um, the assembly here to flag this as an over temp error. But in summary, um, I really would caution you to think about this and the, um, the design and manufacturing processes of Optoma at this point, uh, because this particular connector is going to be an Achilles heel for this particular model and any other models like it. This is an HD143X. 
and uh, you're likely to be um, uh, putting yourself in, in way of having problems with this later on if it doesn't happen immediately. Fortunately, like I said, it could be re uh, repaired by a, a competent person locally to you, um, and uh, then you could you don't have to ship it back to Optoma if it's out of warranty. But uh, I do wish Optoma had taken me more seriously when I offered to share and produce a detailed video for them on the issue with this connector, but uh, they pretty much weren't interested at all. Uh, one more thing is if you do have uh, someone do service locally on this, be aware that your bulb develops several hundred volts to fire. So there's high voltage available in this uh, compartment uh, through this connector right here uh, that fires the bulb and then maintains the arc. Um, and uh, also, too, there's an interlock switch right here which has to be depressed in order to fire the bulb. If this is left up with the top off, as it will be, uh, you will get a bulb error on your status lights. Uh, but uh, also, one last thing to, to go along with this is do not put fingerprints on the bulb. Uh, the bulb um, holder has a glass slide in front of it. Um, again, my apologies that the device I'm using, the autofocus, doesn't work like I'm expecting, but I'm not intending to put a lot of time into this, um, into this video anymore. And there's also a, um, a um, glass um, aperture down here, nor do you want to put any fingerprints whatsoever on the bulb. None. Uh, because if you do, that will cause a stress point. This bulb operates at many, many uh, thousands of um, uh, PSI in terms of the, the pressure that's internal to it. And uh, those, those uh, and the temperatures is upwards around 1,000 degrees. So if you put uh, any fingerprints or oils on that bulb, it will create a point of thermal stress. And these bulbs generally fail by exploding. So... Um, do not, when you're uh, working with it, touch the bulb. I would not put uh, touch the reflector. Just keep your fingers out of the of the bulb housing here uh, while you're doing a service on it, and that's why there's this little hook on the top. And anything around here you can touch as long as it's cooled down, but do not get your fingers in there. Do not touch the bulb nor the glass cover. I hope that helps uh, some of you who have one of these projectors, and uh, if you're thinking of buying one, well, just know that this particular model, if this is representative of all the HD 143Xs and their related models, because uh, Optoma generally has a, a uh, model that is a consumer model and a model that is a semi-pro or business model that are the same platform, just a different model number, that uh, this may be an issue for you. And I really do hope that Optoma... Uh, considers this when they're when they're doing a design use the correct size connectors guys for the van vendor that you want to use